What's up, YouTube? Sorry, it's been a minute. I haven't been posting that much on here because I sold the ZX6. I got this and I had to do a look, uh, like a couple things to it. Um, it had basically a stock exhaust on there, so I didn't want to bring it onto the channel. And then it'd just be pure wind noise. That with weather and everything like that, I just um, haven't really been in the YouTube zone. But uh, I've had this bike for about a thousand miles, and we're gonna be just talking about how much I personally do not like them. Um, this is all my opinion. You know, different riders, different um, different riders, different preferences but we're gonna head up to Texas Superbikes because if you can't tell I have a check engine light I rode it in the rain on the way to the Dynasty meet not too long ago and I don't know if my O2 sensor got like messed up a little bit or something to do with the traction I don't know Yamaha's are weird like if you let it die um, and then try to start it up it'll give you a check engine for failure to I don't know Yamaha's are weird <laughs> but yeah back at it with the YouTube video kind of feels good to be recording again um, yeah, I got this bike at 7,200 miles. It's at pretty much 8,200. Honestly, these thousand miles have not been enjoyable. I'm not gonna lie. I do not like this bike. Don't get me wrong. If you are a pretty chill rider and you just like to just mop around and you don't like to do wheelies, like it's cool because honestly this is probably the best like content bike it's, it's a cheat code for content instagram tiktok um, it's just a cheat code i mean they look really good but i'm just not i'm just not a huge fan of them the main reason why i don't like the bike is that it's twelve thousand dollars and it's just a one trick pony now don't get me wrong this bike feels really good like throwing it around um, it feels really good throwing it around and such but it's a track bike you know of course it's gonna feel good doing that but that's pretty much all you can do with it so I'm kind of over that you know riding fast phase so I had fun with it for a little bit but I really want to do wheelies and that's just kind of where I am right now as a as an enthusiast is that I want to get to the point where I can do wheelies really good I'm kind of tired of going fast it's cool and everything but I'm trying to drop it back so for me personally the R6 really isn't it like I said it's a cool concept but I feel like if um, if you kind of want to get into the scene into the content creator scene like like and build up your 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 supporters and stuff but like I, this is the bike to do it me personally i don't really care about that stuff anymore i used to but i mean at the end of the day it's just it's just numbers on a screen unless you can find a way to convert to convert it to uh you know real life stuff then sure but for the most part it's just numbers you don't really need to prioritize that especially if you're gonna ride um, 
I'd much rather have fun and do something that I, do something that I like rather than please other people. Uh, give you guys a little update. I know I haven't been on this platform in like almost a month. So I'm buying a, a Grom and then I'm gonna go back to the ZX6. Honestly, I regret selling that ZX6 so much, but it is what it is. I shouldn't have sold it. I should have kept it, but I did buy this and I am making uh, a decent amount on this bike. So it's pretty much gonna pay for the Grom. Plan is to get an S1000 next year. I don't think I'm ready for it. If I get on a leader and try to do highway wheelies, the chance of me looping out is pretty high. Um, you know, I'm not gonna loop out if if I just chase it, but if I try to progress on the highway with a leader bike, I'm gonna loop out, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just doing the smartest thing right now, and really taking a step back and going back to the basics. Alright, but yeah, we're about to pull up the Texas Superbikes, right, see what this code's about, and then we'll, I'm going to be heading back home. Stupid uh, O2 sensor. Yeah, shout out to Superbikes clearing that code for me. But yeah, more of the story with the Yamahas is that they're, they're content bikes, and then if you actually want to ride them, if you're just like a chill... Uh, you know two wheels down at all times type of guy It's a perfect bike for you. You can build up your socials with it really easily um, But other than that like I'm just not a big fan of them I'm kind of upset. I didn't get any more videos with this bike, but <laughs> Bro just spawned out of nowhere <laughs> The rest of the video is just going to be some pure sound stuff, so um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I get a bike soon because there's some meets this weekend, but uh, I don't want to rush into anything. Yeah, thanks for watching and don't buy Yamaha. <laughs> I'm kidding.